Hello, this is Terry Gray from Palomar College Academic Technology and this is an instructional video on how to make a video from a PowerPoint 2010 presentation. That's right, the ability to create videos from your PowerPoints is now built into PowerPoint 2010. You have to be sure that there is a sound card on the computer that you're working on, and there almost certainly will be. And then you have to be sure that a uh, microphone is attached to that computer. We recommend the Logitech ClearChat Pro USB headset microphone. We've gotten good results with that, and it's relatively inexpensive, about 35 bucks from Amazon. But any microphone will do, as long as it's recording your voice. Okay, this is all premised on the idea that you have already constructed your PowerPoint presentation. It uh, contains the animations and transitions and so forth that you think are appropriate. And uh, now you need to narrate it, just as if you were presenting the PowerPoint in class or before a group. And uh, you want your narrations to be captured in the movie that you're making, in the video. So the first step is to narrate while you're presenting uh, at your desk. Go to the Slideshow tab, click on the bottom half of that Record Slideshow command, and the little drop-down will appear, and click Start Recording from Beginning. Now, when you uh, record a few slides and decide you can do a better job, you'll come back to your PowerPoint presentation and this clear button labeled number four on the slide you're looking at will be lit up and you can use it to clear your timings and your narrations from PowerPoint and start again. Uh, you will almost certainly have to take one, take two, take three, and so forth until you get it right. Before you actually start narrating, however, you will see this dialog box. I've blown it up on the slide so you can see it fairly clearly. And uh, this uh, is all about what it is that is going to be recorded. Of course, you want to record the slides and the animation timings. This would also include effect options and transitions. And then, of course, the narration and the laser pointer. And new with PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to display an on-screen laser pointer. You do that by holding down the control button, holding down the left mouse button, and then moving your mouse around the screen. You can see the effect here. It's a little bit jumpy, <laughs> I've noticed, at least on the Dell computer that I'm working on, but it does work. Okay, so you'll set at your desk until you give your presentation orally, along with the slides, and when you're done, PowerPoint will automatically take you to slide sorter view and under each slide you'll see the timing that you have recorded. There's a little sample uh, that I've put on screen here. Also on each slide you'll notice a speaker icon meaning that your narration is attached to that slide. Now don't worry uh, that won't actually show up when you make the video. You won't see that speaker icon. Uh, it's just there as a reminder to you and it's set to zero meaning that it will play automatically when the slide loads. Okay, so after you've narrated your presentation uh, and uh, are satisfied with it, go to what is called Backstage View, or better, better known as the File tab. In PowerPoint, click on the File tab, click on the Save and Send category, and click on Create video to get this video started. Uh, as with all Microsoft products though, this doesn't start an action. This starts a dialog box that allows you to configure the video. And here is that dialog box. First of all, you have to configure the resolution of the video. How large is it going to be? And displayed on screen here are your choices. Uh, large, medium, and small sizes. The large is 960 by 720 pixels. The medium, 
what they call near DVD quality is 64480. That's the same as a picture on Apple TV, uh, for example. And the small one would be appropriate for handheld devices, 320 by 240. Uh, bear in mind that we're going to be creating a WMV file, uh, but then that file could be converted to other formats. Okay, after selecting the resolution, you will uh, tell PowerPoint that you want to use the recorded timings you have just recorded in your narration. Here are the other choices you have, and that is don't use the recorded timings and narrations. I'm not sure why you would do that after finishing a narration, but perhaps you would want to uh, make a silent version and a recorded version, both. If you have not yet narrated, you can see that this uh, dialog gives you the option of beginning your narration. And don't be confused by this little seconds to spend on each slide. That only applies if you have if you decide not to use the timings and narrations that you have already recorded. Okay. So finally to get things started you click the create video button. Now the first thing you do is give a name and a location uh, to your video, a typical Windows operation where you tell it what to call the file. Uh, it's uh, wise to name it with a uh, size in, as part of the name like uh, 640, 920 or so forth. And then you will see this creating video uh, dialog in the status bar of uh, PowerPoint. And it will take a good long time depending on how long the video is and what resolution you've chosen. Uh, you can be sure it will max out your computer's processor or processors. It's a processor intensive activity so just leave your computer alone while it's creating the video. Okay and uh, it'll finish in due time. It's wise not to make your presentations too long therefore. And then you will have a WMV file in the resolution you chose, including your narrations. Pretty slick. So it's important to remember it's a WMV file, Windows Media Video File. We recommend you place this on your Palomar College web space. Uh, anybody who is a Palomar employee can have a web space here, and they simply upload it uh, using Expression Web 4 or uh, SharePoint Designer or some FTP program. We support secure FTP and upload it to your website. And if you leave it in WMV format, we recommend you also create a link somewhere near the video link uh, to Windows Media Components for QuickTime. So people with Macs can also view your video. Uh, another option you would have, of course, is to simply upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, uh, in which case people with Macs uh, will not have a problem and you, they won't need the special Windows Media Components. And really, that's all there is to it. Create the PowerPoint, animate it, narrate it, and then create the video. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.